What's up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C, and this is, I'm reviewing, um, the season premiere of Mary Mary Season 3, Episode 1. Um, before I begin anything, besides I'm going to give a shout out to my YouTube fam and my new, uh, well, my older subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button and rate and I try to get to y'all comments and stuff like that. You know, like, like this video, share. But anyways, um, I want to say real quick, besides shouting out everybody, um, putting your um prayers for my YouTube cousins to get a view. Um, I'm probably gonna get a link in a video. Also check out channel. Also list all the some of my YouTubers I usually shout out occasionally <laughs> most of the time. They're all my feature channels, by the way. Um, side. Um, she with her medical journey, she's. Make a little short story, she's going through conditions where she's going to have to have surgery, and they said they're going to try to, like, the process may get a start tomorrow or something, but very, very soon she just had a uh, consultant about it today. So, y'all, please keep her in your prayers that she has. Whenever she has the surgery, that, you know, it goes well, that, you know, the doctors, they perform a great and excellent job, and everything goes well in the surgery, and that she will heal 100%, and keep her in her prayers, just keep, like, you know, it's just, you know, <laughs> look, hugs, Miss G. <laughs> I like calling her. Okay, but I also want to shout out Mike 801. He's also my first YouTube cousin. It's actually, they were YouTube cousins at first, but I told her today you're my, you're my YouTube cousins too. Also, some more love, love bugs. Hope you're enjoying your trip. More Linda, um, Linda, um, Squeaky Jones, um, Jay from Up the Discussion, shout out, Jamelia TV, Lat um, Louisville Latrice. Marcus Williams, Janae Bessa, Jamil TV, like I said, I don't want to see him that time. My Nerdy Pony, uh, um, Pony TV, Kinky Girl Mara, um, Buzz Kim, I think he still makes the videos, I just have to, like I said, shout out, but like I said, it's just, thank you for the, like, the, like I said, those you know, people, so especially, shout out to, um, I want to cool, I definitely don't want to get down to so Sleep Queen. Um, but like I said, I do want to put a video in. I may put also my face too about people who are inspirational, but also, I might also, but like I said, it's just, it's, I'm, I, you know, not just, you know, just because Mary Mary, you know, we just kind of mind because of the series and the topics that we're dealing with about having faith and inspiration. I just feel it's important to put that in there and having faith. And also, in the description box is my video as well, my testimony with my health condition that I'm, you know, it's not as bad, but I do still occasionally do with that. That's, you know, but it's about having faith and just dealing with health conditions, you know, more than also those health conditions. Um, well, Rika Latrice, she's dealing with, you know, it's just really about having inspiration, but just like, you know, I just thought it was very important. I, you know, I'm trying to avoid, I don't know why, but I guess when I was going through a lot of stuff, you know, when I hear certain songs, I know it's all of a sudden, but it got some Duke to Mary Mary, y'all. Every time I hear it yesterday, it's one of those songs that has me, <laughs> every time I hear it. It's the same thing as if I hear Carrie's, Perry's Firework. I heard it a week ago, not not, not, not a week ago, but about a couple months ago on the radio, a few times I have actually radio play without listening to CD or play or something like that. And because of the connection of what I was going through before I had the surgeries and I was in so much pain. I mean, I'll go in more detail in my video and if all people and have an hour and, you know, to do that, I want to help people and just having faith in God. And I, I don't mean to be sorry to be ranting about that, but I just, you know, and especially just, um, like it, it, it kind of got brought up today, like I said, after seeing Miss G to get a um, video about medical journey and she had shot me out about me, especially ch checking, you know, when the people check out, especially dealing with my, you know, just things, one of people dealing with, you know, a health condition, um, a chronic illness, and just surgery, stuff like that, but yeah, so for what I heard about work, I still just, oh my gosh, this is still kind of an emotional song, so I, I don't mean to be sitting here like, why is she emotional rambling on, so if y'all first time, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm just saying is, you know what, you know, let's get into this, y'all, but also we already know in the previews, this is kind of going to be a sensitive and it's going to be testing your faith type of um, seasons. Especially, y'all know God rest his soul. Their father has passed and I'm saying somebody has stage four cancer and you got the infidelity issues and you got business issues and business purpose. You got misery. So they have a lot going on as far as they're just even based on what we see. 
Now, we got Mary Mary together. Tina and Erica are off a three month hiatus. And they're on the way to Mitch because, you know, I think Mitch, you know, he, you know, he doesn't officially stare. Isn't he like from Tennessee or something? But, you know, he's in town. He's, he, I think he's in LA, in Los Angeles. And they go and visit him, right? And they do an update. They back out, like I said, three months already. Right, let's get it going. They're about to do a concert at uh, an uh, Essence Festival, um, you know, in Las Vegas. But here's the problem how it's stayed up. Now, already in the confession, or right before the confession comes up, what really is going on with Tina, Mitch again. Now, you, we've been seeing conflict almost like a ping pong. I said once in a while, you know, tennis or something type of match. Toot, 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 toot. Or one of them, them old school. Um, games used to be on arcade and stuff like that. We do, and you just do this, and it's like a ball to go across here. <laughs> so that's sad how it's going with this, and it's kind of like I'm surprised. To be truthful with y'all, they relationship, business relationship, to didn't this next last that long, considering you know sometimes with them or they say they have bad decisions, or sometimes it's like for this hair, and then you got Google and him, and then you know Google's boyfriend. I don't know, she's still. I think she breaking up. I thought she broke with him. Oh, she just, they didn't decide to move again, but I didn't know she was still talking to him. But I'm just saying, is that, you know, he was all with his things, like he was going to do something big. I'm just saying, this was a lot of stuff already, just in the two seasons combined. And so, he's basically telling me, I think we're going to go on a trip, I guess, a couple weeks later in advance, right? And he's basically, unfortunately, has to tell him the sad news about, of course, um... That the the African, African check the trip did not work out because they didn't get the positive. They didn't send their positive, and of course they mad because you know they obviously had their lawyers involved or certain people involved. But Mitch is known for him. The thing is, yeah, you make good do this. We do a lot of bad decisions that affect our thing. Like you know, you hire these people or people or get people that end up costing us money because they you know they you know that makes them look bad and say, oh, I'm sorry y'all. Makes them look bad. At, you know, as far as like how. They set up musicians to go here. So I don't know they're going to have what's going to have like a world con mini world concert or it was just a trip all together in order to going to also and also perform. I guess it, that was what was going to be it. So they feel mad. And then because you first was asking how they were going, of course Erica is starting to work on her solo career, not because you know just because Tina had was wanting to break, um, but she wants her voice to be heard, you know, as well. And but, you know, Tina already, you could tell, is kind of more resistant. I mean, we already know Tina's spicy with the mouth. It's always been a spicy one, just like her hair color. Uh, it is spicy. Not to, it's cute. What I'm saying is she's always been more of a expressive one out of the two ladies. And, with, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. It might be time between her and Google. I don't know. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you want to count her too. But I'm just saying, overall, that... Tina's already like, I'm just going through some things, blah, blah, blah. And she admits in confessionals, which was around the time, I think, when they must have been recording this season, that actually, um, that's when she said in confessional, because she asked, actually, the fans on either their site or some, like, magazine or something like Ebony Exxons, that not only does she actually disclose and talks about the affair, that, um, this affair that Teddy had on her, but and also, she asks her, um, her fa their fans to pray for, you know, her and Teddy's marriage. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot going on right there. So when they are disgusted by, you know, Mitch within here is like, you know, how we lose money, certain deals, blah, 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 blah. As soon as er Erica was starting to talk, like like I said, I really didn't get a chance to really hear what she was saying. Because, you know, Tina was like, you know, was starting to talk, and I could have sworn, didn't seem like Erica was, you know, almost had to do the church thing in order to get in there. But she didn't get a chance to get in there because she was like, let me first. And Mitch was like, you know, so she said, yeah, but the bad thing. And he's like, da 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 da. And she's like, wait, wait, we're finished. And then now they got her nick <laughs> Tina, da da. And she, Erica's like, well, let me finish. And then it came back again. But, and then all of a sudden, all of a, next minute, we just see. Tina and, and Mitch going back and forth, and he just saying, like, all you do is say all the bad things, y'all playing every damn day, all this other stuff. Sorry, I mean, because I'll, I'll try to keep the profanity a minimum as much as possible, okay? But that's exact words. I know they all sometimes want to say more than shut up, Mitch, if you know what I mean. But I'm saying is, is that overall, um, he, you know, they were just going back and forth, but she just was saying, like, you know, basically how Mitch in the way you know, does bad decisions. You don't take the blame for what you do, blah, 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 but you just can tell she's just getting ripped. 
she getting red in the, 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 um, her hair color, and you would just tell in her face, like, something is really going on. And even Mitch, like, even though she's not telling me anything, something must is really going on. It got to the point that Erica is like this. She's basically like, you know, got, you know, got the whistle and everything. Web, referees, like, you know, just, you know, stop the game or whatever they do. And that's how pretty much she has to stop. Because she, she was like, I'm, I'm not the only two, per you know, y'all not the only two in the room and stuff. You know what I mean? Let me speak, okay? Let me speak. You know, y'all didn't get a chance to speak, so they just like, you know, they got to the point the team was so okay, she was about to say, like, you know what? You keep having that mouth, we you can end, y'all, this this business deal for in relation right here with Mary Mary, you can work with your other clients. And I mean that's not just how he do just going backward. Duh, 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 duh. So in the end they just said they'll just talk, you know, on the shoot because they have an upcoming, you know, photo shoot with uh, Albany magazine. And they're excited about that, you know, especially, like I said, all these big things happening, especially with the female hiatus. And so they end up leaving Mitch Hotel, we're going to make a long story short. And she, yeah, Erica just, like, trying to tell Tina, you know, this business, whatever it is, but just, you know, basically, in other words, and, you know, make a long story short, she was just, I think, saying the words, like, you know, about just trying to calm down everything else, and we know this. And, it, but, we, but, you know, Tina was also like, no, you know, it's been two years and a half. And, you know, if you think about it, she's just sick and tired about the results that keep happening. You know, she don't feel like Mary Mary, I guess, is being pushed like it should be. And so, you know, Erica, you know, she's, Eric, okay, Erica just like, it's okay, we'll just do this. We'll give them two more months. And if things are not working well and very soon progressively like we're supposed to, we're still seeing the same mistakes, then we got to make that decision. Man. We got to make that decision. So we, like I said, could see questions like, you know, like Tina's saying, I got so much that I'm dealing with the house, and I don't want to deal with more stress and stuff like that, dealing with the ministry part. But, you know, Mitch also in that same argument was saying to them before, a little bit, I guess, before level, you know, like I said, Eric had to be the referee and stop that, you know, all this. Um, he was saying like, well, even though y'all might have lost out, he lost out too, because he was saying that even though he's a manager, he didn't, he doesn't get paid for certain stuff like this, like it's like planning certain stuff or whatever cases. I don't know, y'all. I'm just watching like y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to be his, uh, <laughs> I'm biased in everything. Um, you know, like I said, I just that that had to be the greatest crime for the last that long, but I'm just saying, you know. So, anyways. Um, you know, you see Erica confession how she just feels for, or she, she just feels so sad for Tina's hurt, and all she can do is pray for her, you know. Another scene was, we got Mary Mary and, I mean, not, oh my gosh, why am I saying Mary Mary, but like, you know, <laughs> these two ladies don't have separate names or separate lives, and they're not individuals. So, Erica's, you know, in the studio with her husband, Warren, uh, you know, also, um, she's with a single that she has out, I guess she's working with, or they're working on something else, and he's asking, of course, like, how, you know, the meeting went, and she's talking about Africa and stuff like that, you know, then, you know, it was an epic fail and everything else, and so he's basically like this here, like, you know what, you know, in the end, about not deciding, because even though it turns out it's been several occasions, I don't remember, honestly, like, last, last season, whatever, but, um, it mentioned several occasions, or even said like recently in October, as he had to remind her that he is she is asked and said asked him to be a manager for her solo career and stuff like that. But now all of a sudden she's having second doubts and not thinking about having him manager as a solo artist. And more just like you know you probably need to let that go because basically like I said they feel like unsatisfied with uh, Mitch you know work ethnic I mean just working skills just I mean they just they just like they got one thumb up but they got one thumb down I guess, <laughs> I guess. so. Like I said, here's another scene about the, about the thing. Now they got the Albany um, shoot or whatever coming up. But before, I think around that time, uh, Erica herself decides to go to pay Mitch a visit, and she doesn't directly say that she doesn't want to be a manager. She just kind of say she was kind of like mm -hmm, one of them type of things about that. Because you know, Mitch was kind of asking her like, okay, I would think that you would are. You know, you didn't tell me that you had this upcoming single, or you wasn't doing this and this and that, so what is going on? And, but, you know, she just, she didn't flat out tell him that she doesn't want him to be his manager and stuff. Like I said, she may go with her husband's company that got publishers and everything else, whatever. So, you know, because, like I said, Mitch, in the end, the last scene, he still, flat out, he got to stop him before they go to back to the hotel rooms and stuff, stop him in the parking lot and stuff, and basically talk about her and Warren about, really directly towards Erica, but, you know, about what's going on. Now, like I said, when they're on, um, getting ready, I guess, for the photo shoot or whatever, <laughs> I don't know, this is just like, 
we're ready for sabotage. This is just a disaster waiting to happen, y'all. Because why in the world do they decide again? And we all know this. This does not end well. It's when they ask that you know they got some garments and they expect Google. Google's been, I guess, a lot of times expected to come around. A lot of times when there there's fashion emergencies, and in this case, they need supporters to keep everything from not certain areas from jiggling too much in during the photo shoot. And you know, already they asked Mitch to call. Mitch already was like, "Okay, this is already bad asking." Her. And then on top of that, she wasn't even hired um, for this photo shoot. So of course, like I said, this may not end well. So of course, um, she he calls Google. Google doesn't. And they end up talking. Of course, it really what didn't come to the talk was he just like. She's like this. She has other clients and like that. And since she never got the retainer still that she never wanted, she just like this, you know, whatever to a certain point. So it's just like this, like, you know, he well, she was like, I'm not well, I wasn't hired to shoot, but he's like, Well, they have well, this is one of those things that you that's out of our control. But she's like, Y'all could have pushed for me if y'all wanted to meet visa styles and stuff like that. So you know how we already know how you usually mention her going, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, but I guess she doesn't even get support guards for her um, sisters at that time being. But she already said anyway, because he thirsts on maybe I guess he, she was also going to be at the Las Vegas thing. She's just like, uh, no. She has clients there also in that area around that same time. Uh, which we found later on is this soul group that's turned country. And, you know, so, like I said, what's another factor? So let's fast forward to the day before the Essence Festival. They go drag her um, Racing speed, also speed racing stuff. They on track of zoom, just all oh, here. That looks like fun. I don't know about y'all, but you know, Tina's like I said, she, uh, but what, what actually about, I forgot to tell you about the folks. It was the first time they did an interview separate, uh, interview separate. And Tina admitted about that, about her husband and his, you know, the infidelity thing, but she said they're working on an out. They still each other, but they're all going well. She forgave her husband. They're going to move on. And, you know, but, so she heard the said, which, you know, she loves him and he loves her. You know, like I said, they're still working. So like I said, it was a couple of days. And then Mitch comes, but well, he forgot already also his alarm was PM. It was supposed to be on AM. So later on, I don't know, some dinner, lunch, whatever. Now, he already is an awkward fifth wheel. And I thought that was kind of awkward anyway at some dinner t- table. And already the circumstances is previously <laughs> seemed like it goes sometimes with um, they're talking about business. So he decides to bring up about asking again about the Erica thing, and they kind of just let me, you know, and they're like, okay, not right now. The routine is like, not right now. So they kind of just leave it alone, like, oh, Mitch, not right now. You know, Mitch, of course, his confession is saying, like, well, why can't I ask about it? And I can't ask about business, and I just feel awkward. I'm thinking, like, ugh, shake my head. <laughs> That's all I can say about that one. So Teddy's also performing a drummer as an artist, and never disclose who's the artist that he's. Or forming a drummer for him, but before Barry had get on stage, obviously he was a couple an act before or something, right? Or not too far before, but then performing. So, like I said, right before, uh, before no, when they get ready to get dressed up for you know the concert thing, right? Now he, now um no um here's the whole thing. Not he. I'm going to bring up to again. They're expecting Google be on spot. Google is at this time is still with her clients. Um, and they're at a photo shoot and stuff, right? And here, Tina is the one who called because they like they're expecting Google to be there, at least show up, at least look at what should be done just in case. Just, you know, spot them out, see if everything's okay. And then they just like, where's Google? Google both be our sister. You know, she could at least pop up and stuff. She is our sister. So, you know, somebody, you know, possibly want to be, you know, the sister card or something like that. You know, you both be here. We are sister type of thing. So, you know, Tina calls her and Google got on speakerphone, which already sounded like, girl, I would have. I would have put the phone to my air speaker, especially dude when you knew Tina was calling. And we already know this is not the first time they be like trying to, you know, do her own call and stuff like that. So, um, Tina, of course, that's like, you know, you, well, why couldn't you be? You should have been that for sure. Blah, blah, blah. But Google's just like this. You know what? Uh, uh-uh, they paid me. I'm supposed to buy the service, web cases, blah, blah, blah. Okay, have a good evening. One of them type of things. That took a couple minutes, okay? So, I don't think Google been like, Google said, because, you know, uh, Tina thought she would have been done by now. She just did early, blah, blah, blah. You know, like I said, it just, Google ain't a chance to show up, actually. That may have gone somewhere else. So, anyways, right before the perform, they do you know that um, they watch Teddy perform and stuff like that. And the thing is, even though he's jamming on the drums, the problem is, is that there's something wrong with the sound. We we hear. That's what it sounds like. It's like you hear the drums, 
then you hear or, or something. It just it didn't sound right. Okay, I don't know because of a certain area or we weren't on thing, but that was a good big concern. Consider not only because Mary Baby about to go on the stage, but after the hiatus and everything else, the last thing you want to hear that you know you're basically making a quote quote a comeback or return or whatever the case is, or you know you're off hiatus and you're back doing what you're doing, and then so you know you come back with big bang, not a big bomb. You know, so <laughs> they don't want to have a big bomb. But I'm just saying, so, um, what, so what I was saying was, uh, after that, um, they're just praying and everything goes, because, you know, first, you know, I think Tina was saying something about the bitch, you know, about, about you know, when they're back in the stage still, and this, you know, tr the bitch didn't tell the truth, and they're going grief, which was true, was his, it's something out of his control, which is true, you know, and, you know, they just had to pray about it, and, and we seen, you know, they got an awesome performance, out as good, and, and everything had went well. And they had a good performance. And then a bitch, trying to catch them, well, you know, they were tired and stuff, they were catching um, Air, uh, Erica and Warren before they get in the parking lot, okay? So finally, you know, he's still asking, like, okay, you did tell me in October that you wanted me to be made, but you know, she was like, you changed mind. You know, Warren had a couple times came in, you know, he got to the point where he had to do this a couple times. You know, it's like, Okay, she decides to do that stuff like that, even though you make, because he's like, I've been two and a half years best man. He's trying to go from the angle is, is because even though Erica's a solo artist, she still is a part of the group. So he's looking at the angle is, I'm a manager part of the group, so why would you not basically want me to be manager? Or just, why, you know, he just kind of feels a bit uh, offended about that to a certain point. So it was just like one of those things that just went down, you know, Mitch is just like, okay, what are you going to tell me? And then he just kind of felt like, so, so she speaks basically, you know, of course, Warren had to remind her, like, well, if she decides to go with my company, you know, that's her choice. He said, I don't have, of course, Mitch is like, I don't have no problem or nothing like that. But I am just was asking because he wants to know, but it's just, I don't know. He could have, maybe this is my personal opinion. It's just that I'm like, couldn't he just call and ask for Erica? But Erica, like I said, it's not. Now, let's, let's be for real here. Especially with Tina was going on around that time. Even before Tina, unfortunately, had to go through that stuff. We didn't. We wouldn't have to hear this. We know what the answer would have been. He wouldn't have to sit here and run to the car and nothing like that, or still feel puzzled by what was going on. Because Tina would have been like this. Look at here, Mitch. Let me tell you something. I don't like what you're doing. There's been a lot of negatives now over pros, and for my career, I'm going to choose by myself, and I'm going to go with this company right here, okay? You still want to get married. Well, you know what? You, I, I can walk out the door. I know the Mitch was trying to be, you know, like I said, he got a little mouth too on him sometimes. Because what she was saying, like, you know, we can leave married. He was like, nothing stop me. I'm not hesitating, hesitating to, you can leave, but, there, you know, still Tina was trying to say, basically trying to focus on the possibilities of the, pot. you know, still like, there's still hope of positive. We're still trying to give you a chance. Okay, type of thing. But I'm just saying, she wouldn't have to worry about that. But, you know, like I said, Erica has always been kind of more so of the more laid back. Like I said, Tina has always been a spicy one when it comes to, like, letting you know, okay, she this, this, this with every syllable. Okay, she don't actually always do this. But I'm just saying, I don't know if I'm doing this right now, y'all. I'm just saying, but, you know, every person. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Well, that's my review, y'all. Hope. I did okay, all right, job. <laughs> I would definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a pleasant week, pleasant night, Green. Like I said, thank you for all the love, and support for everybody. I love y'all, and y'all take care. And like I said, you know, I'm gonna try to put at least um, the Ghetto Beast video in the last video in the that, and also subscribe and to my YouTube videos if y'all get a chance. Also, the feature channels there, y'all like people subscribe, and I plan on. Monday, hopefully. Oh, wait, I shouldn't put no date in. Hopefully, very soon in the near future, I'm gonna make my YouTube shout out video part two and stuff like that and whatever. But like I said, y'all have a pleasant night and love y'all. Take care.